a superwoman who does not believe in half measures. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as a welcome, the remarkable Kate Encho in the building. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Yeah, we've been trying to track you down for so many weeks. You are a very busy woman. Is it with satellites? Yeah, with everything, everything at our disposal. <laughs> so we are excited that we have you here finally. Yes. Thank you. Uh, how does someone who is a microbiologist mm -hmm. end up becoming, you know, somebody who makes macro and major movies in the entertainment industry? How did that transformation happen? It happened by chance. I mean... Uh, we have a lot of people these days who are lawyers and they are baking. Yes. Who are doctors yes. and they are event planners. Yes. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> wow, the, the doctor the event planner part. Uh, anyway. Like planning life. <laughs> yeah, plan life, yeah. <laughs> Considering um, governments, do I say action or inaction as far as the entertainment industry is concerned, is it safe to say Nigerians shouldn't? believe in government developing any industry at all. They should just go and do their things by themselves. Absolutely. And we're yeah. proven it in the entertainment industry. Yeah. We didn't wait for government. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't wait for anybody. And it's now that they're all trying to jump on board. Yeah. Yes, we need government to create the enabling environment so that we can thrive, reduce taxes for us that are filmmakers so that yeah. our equipment can it's come in, in, make the environment safe so that we can shoot peacefully without area and boys. Power, light. That's the key thing. Mm. 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 If there is no light, mm. you'll be hearing generator sound. People can be producing sound. this and nobody's watching it. Nobody. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, very <sighs> important. But we just get on with it. That's the thing I love about the Nigerian spirits. We just, we just do our own. Yeah. They will meet us along the way if yeah. they're interested. Yeah, if they're interested. If they're interested. If they not, join. Hey. Otherwise, we've moved. Hey, on. we have gone. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about starting. You don't even need to go anywhere. Draw that chair closer because this interview is about to get hotter. All right? Kate is here in the studio. And as we make progress, Binta Batmos this evening will be advising us on relationships. So don't even go anywhere. I need that start. advice. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, you know the drill. It's still the other news. Uh, Dan the Humorous takes action against a very dangerous enemy. And Binto Badmos gives us relationship advice. But right now, I'm still talking with the remarkable Kate Henshaw. And um, uh, Kate, yes, as we were saying before the break. Yeah, you ran for a, uh, a seat in the Cross River State uh, House of Representatives back in 2014. 2014 yes. Right. What lessons did you learn from that experiment? Uh. That politics is not for the faint-hearted. Yes. It requires a lot of money. Yes. In short, they told me I need a war chest. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's how they say it. That's the that's war chest. Did, yes. Yeah, you need a war, war chest. chest. Mm -hmm. yeah. I learned invaluable lessons. Um, I don't regret it. It's oh, yeah. a lesson that I've learned that if I didn't go through the process, I would never have appreciated mm -hmm. what politicians go through. Um, because it's 50-50. The politicians and the populace, they have their blame game. Populace waits every four years to collect money. The politicians come every four years to give money, and then they, they go. You don't see anything of them. Maybe some of them don't even do their projects or anything, but once they come with the money, they take the money, and then and that's it. So if there's one thing that you would like to change about this country, mm -hmm. I haven't seen the entertainment <laughs> industry. I haven't been in the business of make-believe <laughs> and being close to politics. Mm. So you have a better view outside, inside of how things are being done. What is that one thing that you would like to change? It's not one country? thing. There are lots of things. I remember talking with you for almost an hour today yes. about Nigeria. Yeah. Our yeah. Nigeria. Mm. Our country where we are bona fide yeah. citizens. It's, it's a lot. And it's we have a no, lot. We have no other, for, for most of us, we have no other place. It's a can. lot. And I remember my words to you exactly saying that it's like we never seem to come up for air. Yeah. It's like we're always pressed down. If it's not rude, is light. If it's not light, it's healthcare. If it's not healthcare, it's salaries. Mm. If it's not salaries, it's education. Perpetually drowning in problems. Things are pulling you an octopus of problems. <laughs> Octopusy mm. nature of our problems. So it's not one thing. But if we can have one thing, mm. can we just have electricity? And I'm sure everybody <sighs> will get on with their life. Yeah. Nigerians are very hardworking. 
you know, for very me, very hard working. Yeah. Just give us light. Carry on with your business. We'll make things work. I wonder. Let there be light in Nigeria. Oh man. Oh, it's. Uh, it's Hmm. Anyway, let us uh, leave let's government. Go. It's beginning to wear us out. Yes, let me have you drink. Yeah, please. <laughs> let me also sip something with you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you are a fitness enthusiast. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So what advice? You people will not yeah, know because yeah, we see your social media. <laughs> You're always training. I don't even know how you do it. So what advice would you have for people like us who are likely to grow pot belly this Christmas season? Mm -hmm. You know, and those of us who jog from bridge and highway <laughs> to the next Mama Put or Buka to to add the calories we just bought. So you see, people are just so lackadaisical about their health in this yeah. country, mm -hmm. about their life. This it's only this body where you get to. There's no spare parts. For you say, let me buy, let me replace, just easy like that. So I just advise people to just make it a lifestyle. Make it a lifestyle. As you're coming, to, preparing to get to work, 30 minutes, skip, jump, jog, cycle. There's so much swim, so much you can do. 30 minutes, three times a week. Very. Don't wait till the doctor says you have six months to live. Then you start running. Yeah, but you know, you know, yes, yes, I'm, yeah, yeah, that's very correct. And why do we eat as if there's no tomorrow? You eat, so tell you start to unbutton people you, like you, men. You'll be unbuttoning you, your you, trousers. You, you're losing your belt. Sweating. Bed. You're losing sweating. your belt so that there's space. Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much, Katie. It's been nice talking to you. Please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, the show goes on. It's the other news. Keep watching.